Boaz, wh why do you have me in, in front of this green screen when our set is right here? Well, I mean, you it's know the vibes. It's decorated. What vibes? What are you talking about? You know, I was in front of a green screen. Evan was in front of a green screen. Actually, technically, it's not a green screen. It's a green blanket, but... When were both of you in front of the... What did you do while I was gone? Kevin's opinions don't matter. Boaz's opinions sure as hell don't matter. All that matters are my opinions. I am Airsoft Daddy according to Urban Dictionary because I don't know why you do this to me, but here I am. It's, it's really weird. I, my opinions are invalid, they, they don't matter. So here's my top five ways to cook pork. Guns, Cisco, oh, gu top wait, five gu guns. I need to redo my list. Okay, okay. Top five guns. All right, top five guns. Uh, the past like year and a half, two years, something like that. But before we get into it, subscribe! Did you forget? I bet you did. Most of our views come from non-subscribers. Why? Why haven't you? It's that easy. Subscribe right there. Hit the little red button, hit the bell so you get notified whenever we upload a new video, guys. You wanna support me, Boaz, if you, you want to support Kevin in there too, go, go ahead. Go to airsoftgi.com, pick up all your airsoft goodies, use the Wombo Combo for free shipping and rewards points, pick up some other good stuff. We can make these dumb top five lists that you love so much from our personal opinions, because for some reason they matter to you, and you get content, we get fed, I can continue to steal Kevin's food, it's all good, it's a win-win-win for everyone. Number one, the G&G. SMC9, the last thing you want from your SMC9 is someone else's foot picks. On Airsoft Circle Jerk, they continue to post foot picks for some odd reason. It's some type of weird foot fetish that everyone on that Reddit has, but they continue to disregard it. Surprise! The G&G &G SMC9. Guys, G&G, &G, like we've said over and over, got us through the pandemic, releasing gun after gun after gun. It's like they did something while in quarantine, guys. It's crazy. First off, I just want to give a round of applause to G&G &G because this gas blowback SMG PCC style gun is fantastic. The kick is nice. It's smooth, it's buttery, it's it's a front reciprocating one, but the but the charging handle stays forward like that so you can use it as a thumb rest. It, it feels great, it shoots great. It has the range and accuracy of an AG. An AG! I don't know any gas blowback rifle or SMG that can do that. It's just well thought out, well built. I just, the only gripe I have about it is they didn't make it TM compatible inner barrel and bucking. If that was the only thing they did to it, the only adjustments out of the box to make it that, it would be perfect. But that's the first gun that we have here because it was hard to build this list after, after Kevin and Boaz took all the other good guns. Number two, the modified PP2K. Everyone says that this SMG is really ugly and I would have to agree. I know what you guys are thinking, and I agree. It's ugly. It's ugly as all hell, but the performance is where it shines. It kicks like a mule. It's the hardest kicking SMG that I have ever felt. I'm talking to UKWA, I'm talking to UVFC, and I'm throwing shade at the g, &G SMC9 that I just praised, because this thing has, I think it's a steel bolt, and when you, when you pull the trigger and the whole bolt comes back, it just feels nice. Range and accuracy, eh, it can be proof, but they have an upgrade of bucking that you should get for it. It's really nice. It's it's steel, it feels hefty. Again, it's ugly. The Russians, they didn't think about aesthetics and ergonomics when they built their guns. They just thought, if it performs, performs, right? It has the ergonomics of a watermelon. Try and shoulder a watermelon and let me know how that goes. Fairly sure it's gonna be really awkward. Number three the Elite Four Saddle Gun Lever Action. Last night, my wife told me that she doesn't respect me as a man. Guys, it is not the best performance. I'm gonna say it again, it is not the best performance. Why? Why Elite Force? 
Why didn't you make it better internally? Now, the only reason that it is on my list is because of the novelty of it. The lever action, buttery, smooth, crisp. The shell ejecting, it's, it's nice. If you do it right, it'll shoot the shell out just like that. And it's good. If, you, if, you, if you're one of those guys that wants to use airsoft guns for movies, this is not the gun, but the gun you want to use. It's great. It's cool. You bring it out in front of your friends. You all get to shoot around the backyard, have a lot of fun. And it's not that bad. The price of it, like 200 something bucks. It, it's, it's one of those guns where it's just like, hey, you want to see something cool? Lever action. This is the DT4 from Class Ronnie, but lever action. Number four, the Jag Arms Double Barrel Scatter Gun. My wife left me for our gardener Julio. All right, coming up in number four, a chonker, the double barrel Jag Arms scatter gun. Now, you might be thinking, why? Because it's thick, it's nice, it's fun. It's a double barrel scatter gun. What, what else do you want? It has the awkward M lock pump with three M lock rail sections for you to mount three different things. You can rack it and it shoots 12 BBs in one trigger pull faster than any DSG that I know. That's not true, because that's like one trigger pull, 12, if you give like 30, 50 rounds per second. You know what I mean, damn it, okay? It's a lot of fun. Now, it's a little awkward with the with the two trigger system and, and again, the hand guard, but it's just so much fun. And you also might be saying, Fields might have banned it. The Fields that didn't ban it, are the real MVPs. They know what's up. They know how to have fun. And I'm about having fun. And the double barrel scatter gun is a lot of fun. Now, Jack, this is to you. Make it semi-automatic, make it full auto, and then we'll talk. Number five, the SIG MCX Virtus. I eat a lot of food to cope with the fact that my wife doesn't love me anymore. At number five, it is- Wait, I just realized, this whole video, you've done all gas guns. For someone that like, never runs gas guns on the field, uh, this is pretty impressive. I, I have to say, you, you liked all the gas guns this year. I just realized that. We gotta do the whole list. I'm gonna do all M4s, I can't do this. It makes me look bad. Guys, I've said it over and over. The SIG MCX is, ugh. Man, you think, yeah. It's so damn nice. It's not an M4, but it is an M4. It's an OEM by BFC, so completely version two upgradable. You, it's a solid build, solid external build. It looks good. It has the BFC externals that everyone wants with the upgradability that everyone wants, including myself. Now, if they were to release an MPX, we can talk gas blowback MPX. BFC, SIG, I'm talking to both of you, just saying, but because those aren't a thing yet, the MCX gets the number five list. It's because it, it just looks good, it's really clean, it's very nice, and overall, I'm very pleased with it. Suck it. Suck it! <laughs> All you roast my build guys out there, fanboys, my heart condition doesn't allow me to do them as often, but if you know, and MCX that's entered into the list always wins. Always wins, why? Because it gets me excited below the waist, you know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right guys, thank you for watching my top five list. And if you don't like any of the guns on my list, who cares? It's my list, I'm in front of this green screen. If you like Boaz's list or Kevin's list, go ahead and go watch them. While you're at it, subscribe! Subscribe, guys! This wasn't even really my top five list. It was my top five list of whatever was left because Boaz and Kevin took all the guns that I wanted to pick. Hey, except for the MCX and the and the and the, the SMC. I, I do like the, the people. That's not the point. It's not the point, guys, okay? Make sure you subscribe for more content. We upload every Wednesdays, Fridays, and I live stream on Thursdays. Maybe I'll have one of these guys live stream. Give me a break for one so you can get their opinions too. Um, support us. Go to airsoftgi.com. Pick up all your airsoft needs there. It supports us. If you support them, support us. You get good stuff. You get content. It's like a win for you. I'm forced to do Roast My Builds coming soon. Ish. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Alright guys, we have another shooting challenge today. We have two cans. I'm going to have one chance to shoot a can 
do a quick reload, and then another shot to shoot the other can and see how we do. All right, shooter ready? Yeah. And go. That counts, right? I hit it. <laughs>